Tableau is a data visualization software which will allow you to connect to various data sources in order to do ad hoc analysis. It allows you to understand the entire data set as well as discover hidden insights that are buried deep within your data. It is very flexible to help you answer your questions instantly as well as tap into your visual senses in order to allow for better comprehension. The case we will look at will be in the point of view of a regional manager who is trying to figure out which product line is the most popular within his or her region, as well as identify problematic regional salespeople who are overseeing each city and any unprofitable customers. We will be looking at sales data. This is the sales information you have to work with. As you can see, there's a lot of information and not very easy for somebody to try to understand and interpret. However, in Tableau, you can create a user-friendly dashboard that is not only intuitive, but very easy for somebody to explore the information. Now let's look at how we can create this dashboard. Starting with customer location. can also add in an element of profit. Now let's move on to product category. And splitting that up by region. Finally, let's go to the customer level. Putting it all together in a dashboard, starting with regional information, then moving into those locations that relate to that region, and finally to the customer. You can organize the dashboard in a manner that is easiest for your user. And we can also add in actions. There you have it. Now you have the analysis and it allows the regional manager to look at his or her region and zoom in on those cities which are having negative profit margins and go down to the customer level to identify which customers are unprofitable can also interact in various other ways by selecting certain cities or by certain product categories. In this class, we'll be learning data analyst tools such as IDEA and ACL. And the advantages of using these tools include the ability to process large file sizes at incredible speeds. I've had the ability to process up to 200 million lines of data. The second reason is error prevention. In these tools, there's an audit log which determines all the features and functions that were used to come up with the results. And the third reason is functionality, such as the ability to join different data sets, perform random sampling, and as well perform different levels of extractions and summarizations to drive new and unique insights. In order to demonstrate the power of data analyst tools, you have been instructed by your supervisor to evaluate whether purchase requests were appropriately approved, evaluating whether purchase requests had the appropriate requisition type, evaluating the purchase request estimates against the actual purchase request orders, and evaluating for split POs. An example of a split PO would be if there was a transaction that was for $1,500, and instead of processing that $1,500 transactions, splitting that into two $750 transactions. For this example, I prepared the script that will be needed in order to analyze the purchase request and purchase order data. The advantage of using a script is that if I get new data sets from different divisions or at different times, all I have to do is replace these two lines and I'm able to perform all the analysis again. Here's where I perform test one analysis, test two, test three, 
test 4, and once I've completed all my scripting, all I have to do is press play, and all the analysis will be performed on the left hand side, and I can see the results, the number of violations for each of the tests, and as well, what particular purchase orders or purchase requests were a part of that violation. In this class, we'll be discussing and using social media analytics, including Facebook pages and Google Analytics. The benefits of using social media analytics include to see the value of social media analytics, we'll be going over a case. And the case in this example will be my own personal website, kingiv.com, and the traffic data for my website for the last three years. This is what a typical Google Analytics page looks like. As you can see, for my own personal website, you can see the traffic over time since the start of my website on February 1st, 2011. You can see that I have had 3,500 visitors, 2,579 of them being unique. You can see the breakdown of language. So if your, your store has a lot of individuals that are using a default language of Spanish, you can customize your website to consider the Spanish language, the country, the city. In my example, majority of my visitors are from Waterloo and Toronto. And this is important for, for stores and businesses because you want to know who's visiting your website because you're usually a reflection of your customers or clients. If I want to optimize my page, which operating systems should I consider and to test? as well as there's the ability to create various dashboards that are important for your business or for your personal use.